recognize this face, Pat Atta, an A-list popular Nollywood actor who is now based in Germany. The news reaching to the internet now is that Pat Atta has sued TVC over their alleged false publication that Pat Atta revealed he dated Genevieve Unnaji in the past. So, according to popular blogger, official Stella, who reviewed this on the internet and the content of that publication by Pat Atta's lawyer goes like this. We are solicitors to Mr. Patrick Atta and he has retained our services. We write this letter on his specific instructions. Our client's attention has been drawn to a regular TV show known as Entertainment Splash, E-Splash, which is usually broadcast by TVC between 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. from Mondays to Fridays. The said program is usually anchored by you alongside two anchor persons, J. Paul, also known as Mr. Flames, and Casey Bashua Alimi. On the 8th of August, 2023, you and your fellow anchor persons caused to be broadcast and published through words spoken and images on the set television show under the guise of discussing the above topic titled Pat Atta revealed he dated Genevieve Naji. In the said broadcast, which has been widely circulated on various social media platforms, including TVC's YouTube channel, online publications, Facebook, print media, and X, formerly known as Twitter, you and your fellow anchor persons maliciously and recklessly disparaged our clients. In the reference broadcast slash publication, you and your fellow anchor persons using TVC's platform firstly alleged that our client, in order to chase clout and publicity, granted an interview where he claimed without being asked that he had dated Genevieve Onnaji. The central theme of this we had publication was to the effect that our client in a previous interview had said that he dated and had a serious relationship with Genevieve Naji. According to the publication, he made this statement without any course or without any question put to him as to whether he dated Genevieve Naji. After the introductory comments made by J. Paul, Mr. Flames, wherein he referenced the interview, which was the basis of the conversation amongst you and your anchor persons, you requested to know what led our client to refer to his relationship with Genevieve Unnaji in the previous interview. In response to your question, Kasi Bashua Alimi, in a very thoughtless and inept manner gave a slanted and completely false analysis of how and why our client brought up his relationship with Genevieve Unnaji in that interview. Kesi Bashua Limi deliberately left out the most important part of the interview granted by our client that it was the interview who specifically introduced and asked about our client's relationship with Genevieve Onnaji and not that our client just brought up the issue. It was most unfair for you and your fellow anchor persons to present that interview in a manner that did not accord with the truth. In our view, this was deliberate as J. Paul, also known as Mr. Flames, in his introductory comments at the beginning of the broadcast, stated that our client only answered to the question put across to him regarding his relationship with Genevieve Unnaji. In the course of interaction amongst you and your fellow anchor persons, each of you made the following comments. J. Paul, Mr. Flames. So, you know what vibes this gives me? It gives me the vibe of you. Know when you are talking to your uncles or older uncles, aunties. So, I used to do this. I used to do that. You know they have. There's no reason. There's no shalaye. They actually, it's like saying, 
I used to be an actor and I used to date so, 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 and so, so person. Meanwhile, we didn't ask for that. If it was private, then it should remain private. If it was that important to her and they had a good time together, somewhere along the line, she would mention it. Olayemi Ogunwole, bracket honeypot, said, The reason why I asked that question is because in everything we do in this life, I think that we should avoid that urge to shalaye. And the reason I'm saying that is that if they are asking you about relationships in Nollywood, which one is bringing your past into the present so that we can know that you dated Genevieve is of no use. Why? Why? So I don't like people who talk too much. I don't like people who give information that are not meant to be given. So when he has said that, ah, he dated Genevieve, has he added some money to his account or they will say oh in your status and your bio you are going to put it there and add to it that i dated genevieve before or something there are things i think are not just necessary yeah you have dated the person so now what yes it looks like he does not have anything really going on for himself he's just looking for how can I create something around me which I don't understand? And I think ladies should avoid men like this because I don't understand. I don't know what category to put them in. But it's very irritating. So tomorrow, if I have a job for him, I will now say that guy that dated Genevieve because he dated Genevieve because I don't guess. You will even look very well. Like, who is it that I want to talk about? We would not have to find out from him. I beg, he should just get out. Kesi Bashua Alimi said, he is in Germany now. By the way, where he is into photography. The interviewer asked him about relationships in Nollywood, how Nollywood has progressed, and if he was in any present relationship. And then that was when he made the revelation talking about the fact that back then there was no social media. So all of these things that are happening on social media now, they unfollow you unfollow day broken up and everything. It wasn't there. People were not monitoring. But at the end of the day, he was just using it as an example and blowing his trumpet. Yes, it is just like being asked about relationships and which of your on-screen sweethearts would you have loved to date? And that kind of thing, then you will now say what we dated. He might be giving people content. You know, there are people that do all this. Five people Genevieve has dated and now he has entered the gist. So I am happy for him. She would have been mentioning his name over the years. From the above, the words in their natural and ordinary meaning we are meant and understood to mean, number one, that our client is dishonest, deceitful, unreliable, a person of questionable character, untrustworthy, and morally bankrupt. Number two, that our client is a cloud chaser, a person seeking popularity that is undeserved, insecure, clingy, unprincipled, and immoral. Number three, our client is loquacious or garrulous, shameless, and a philanderer. Our client believes that the said broadcast anchored by you and your fellow anchor persons and the publication was calculated to demean, ridicule, embarrass, and humiliate him. In consequence of the said publication, our client has been greatly injured in his credits, character, reputation, profession, and family life. Our client is one of the pioneers of the Nollywood film industry in Nigeria. He is also a reputable actor, musician, and businessman, a family man with children who has suffered greatly from this reckless publication. Our client was very circumspect in the said interview. He repeatedly said his relationship with Genevieve Naji was cordial and serious, which did not in any way tarnish the image of Genevieve Unnaji. It is in the line of the above, acting on the instruction of our clients, that we make the following demands. Number one, 
that you are to ensure that the contents of the said broadcast made on the 8th of August 2023 by you and your anchor persons, Casey Alimi Bashua and J. Paul, also known as Mr. Flames, is, retra- is retracted by TVC and also ensure that you tender an unreserved apology to our client. This retraction and apology must be published and broadcast in the same means and manner in which the libellous publication was made, including TVC's YouTube channel, Twitter, all social media platforms, WhatsApp and Facebook, etc. Our client also demands that the retraction and apology must also be published, broadcast on the same program, Entertainment Splash, Splash, and you and your anchor persons must apologize to our client. In addition, you are to ensure that this apology and retraction must be published in no fewer than three national dailies to with Vanguard, this day and punch newspapers number two our client has instructed us to make an unequivocal demand and monetary damages in the sum of 500 million naira Hmm. the above demands must be met within 14 working days from the date of receipt of this letter our instructions are that should you choose to disregard or fail to heed these demands we are to approach a court of competent jurisdiction to seek redress as demand above. Thank you. Wow. Why well, I know too much like this? Hmm. That being said, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. Please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your bell notification to always get notified anytime I drop the video or videos on this channel. We react and analyze. We give trending just celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. And to my Tony subscribers, thank you for always watching, liking, commenting and sharing. Bye bye for now as I'm signing up for my next one. Peace out. I love you all. Que me sean un vano. Bye.